This video is to show you how to create a Google form. First, you're going to go to drive.google.com, click on New, click More, and then click on Google Forms. Next, you'll put in a title, so for example, Social Studies Quiz. And right here, the form description, you would just give any sort of student directions. There'll already be one question there, and it'll be set up to be multiple choice. So you'll just click where it says Untitled Question, um, add a question, and then you'll add your options underneath. and just click Add Option in order to add additional options. And then what you'll do when you're ready to add another question is you'll click on the plus sign on the right-hand side. And then if you want to do other choices besides multiple choice, you have uh, this drop-down arrow where it says multiple choice and you've got all sorts of different types of questions that you can use. Um, for this, we're just going to stick with multiple choice because it's the easiest to assess. Um, so anyway, we'll just go ahead and add in another question. All right, and so now what we would do is we would just simply have to um, be able to send it. Um, and so you would click on send up at the top. And you always want to check off automatically collect respondents Hanover Public Schools username because that will collect your students' email addresses. And so they don't even have to put in their names. It will automatically get their names. Um, so anyway, then you would just under the to field, um, type in who you were sending it to, um, along with any subject and message. You can also include the form in the email, so right now I'm just going to send it to myself, and so we'll just click on send. And I'm also going to send it to Suzanne Clasby. Okay, so now your form is created. And what you're going to need to do next is you're going to need to actually create an answer key. So in order to do that, now that you've emailed yourself the form, you can just simply go to your mail. And it should show up in your mail if you emailed it to yourself. So now what you want to do is you want to actually begin creating an answer key by putting in the correct answers. So we'll just go ahead and put in the correct answers and then click on Submit. Okay, so now what you can do is you can actually go and check your responses. So you go over to your form and you'll see where it says Responses. You'll be able to click on it and you'll see all of the responses that people have given. And at this point, we only have this one response. What you're going to do next is you're going to click on this green Create Spreadsheet icon. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a new spreadsheet that has all of the responses to your quiz. So you'll go ahead and click on Create. And so now you see the responses. So just as an example, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to the form and take it again. So I still have Gmail open. Um, and this time I'm going to do the incorrect answers. Or actually, it doesn't really matter. We can do, um, you know, the same answers or different answers. Please return to the main office. This is so right now I'm just going to click on Fill Out in Google Forms. And I'm just going to take it a second time. There's a reason we need to take it two times, otherwise we won't be able to grade it. Okay, so now we've taken it two times. Um, anyway, so we've got the actual form itself, and then we have the spreadsheet that should say responses, 
And so what you're going to do now is we're going to install an add-on so that you can actually grade your responses. So you're going to click on the add-ons menu up at the top and then click on get add-ons. And Flubaroo should probably be the first one that shows up, but just in case if it's not, you want to click where it says search add-ons and then type in Flubaroo. And then what we'll do next is we'll add it. So you'll just click on the plus sign in order to add it. Um, scroll down in the window that appears, click allow. And so now what we can do is we can start to actually grade our responses. So you click on the add-ons menu again, now you'll see Flubaroo and you'll see grade assignment. And it'll automatically decide if an option identifies a student or if an option needs to be graded. So, um, but you do have the ability to change that. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just go with normal grading for questions one and two, and you can choose how many points a question is worth as well. So if you want them to be of equal weight, we'll just keep them as one. So then we'll click on continue. And then it's going to ask you to identify an answer key submission. So we're going to go with the first one, although both of them were pretty much alike. They both contained the correct answers. So we've chosen the first submission as the answer key. Click on continue. And then sometimes this takes a few minutes. Okay, so now grading is complete. So we can see that it graded that second submission and they got 100%. Um, and so when your students take the quiz, it'll list their usernames, their total points, their percentage, um, and how they scored on each question. So then the last part of this is to actually email grades. What you would do is click on add-ons, Flubaroo, and then share grades. From here, what you would do is just pretty much, if you want to include the answer key, you can check that off. If you want to include a generic message, you can. Um, so for example, here are your quiz results. And then click on continue. Then it'll say that the grade was successfully shared. Click on OK. You'll notice that there's an X under emailed grade now. So that way you know that this student has received a copy of their grade. Um, now to kind of look at it from the student perspective, what the student will do is they'll go into Gmail and there should be something from no reply. And it'll say, here's your grade for whatever the quiz was. And so this is what your students will see. Um, if you included the answer key, it'll include your answer as well as the correct answer um, if they actually scored it incorrectly. And so that's how you can create an assessment in Google Forms.